let's review the description of today's discussion. In this webinar, we will review ARPKD, an important cause of CKD in children. This disorder is often diagnosed in utero and is associated with significant mortality and morbidity. This discussion will include a description of the epidemiology, etiology, and complications of the disease. All right, so without further ado, I'll turn the floor over to Dr. Lipschutz. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, look forward to talking with you for the next uh, 45 minutes about ARPKD. So first we'll start, what is PKD in general? Polycystic kidney disease is a group of monogenic disorders. They're characterized kind of obviously by the name by the propensity to develop uh, numerous renal cysts. Uh, they're basically, you can divide it into three categories. Uh, autosomal dominant is the most common, ADPKD. I'm an adult nephrologist, so I, this is what I generally see in my practice, and it's also my research and clinical research focus. It's caused by mutations in two genes, PKD1 and PKD2. In the latest studies, there's a certain number of patients that have no mutation determined, and it may be that there's some other genes such as uh, GANAB involved, but essentially it's basically PKD1 and 2. Syndromic forms is another kind of polycystic kidney disease. These are um, rare. They're autosomal recessive also. There are things like Bardet beetle, nephronothesis, uh, Joubert syndrome. And then there's ARPKD, which is what we're going to talk about today, which is due to the mutations in a gene found on chromosome 6 called a PKHD1. So um, ARPKD is a very important cause of CKD in children. Um, it's about 1 in 20,000 live births, but if you have, it's an autosomal recessive disease, as kind of, again, the name implies. The, so that means that the carrier frequency is actually about 1 in 70. So the carrier frequency is, is much more common, but again, about one in 20,000 live births. And it has a very typical ultrasound presentation and often in utero it's diagnosed where you get large echogenic kidneys. Um, how, however, it's not always presents as we'll talk about um, in the neonatal period, it's more the severe cases. You can also see it in adolescence or even adulthood presenting. The most extreme cases are associated with something called the Potter's phenotype, um, which consists of pulmonary hypoplasia, this characteristic facies and spine and limb abnormalities. And Potter's um, phenotype is actually seen in all cases of severe kidney disease um, in utero, because what happens is, it's kind of an interesting factoid, that the amniotic fluid is actually urine. So if the kidneys can't make, can't aren't working, they can't make the amniotic fluid, you get up something called oligohydramnios, which leads to Potter syndrome. So about 30 to 50% of affected neonates die shortly after birth. Um, and this is due to respiratory insufficiency from the pulmonary hypoplasia from the Potter syndrome, as well as thoracic compression um, by these very large uh, kidneys. And the, the patients that do survive have hypertension um, and renal sufficiency that uh, often leads to the need for renal replacement therapy. 